Episode 1 begins with our protagonist Akira watching a zombie show and wishing it was his life instead. We cut to Akira getting hired by the production department three years ago, a job he's always dreamed about. Before he speaks with the department chief, Kosugi, Akira bumps into Saori, a woman who works for the accounting department. She explains some aspects of the business to him and wishes him good luck on his first day. After his first day, Akira attends a company party at a bar. They ask Akira questions about college and other things. Akira spots Saori at the bar and vows to work hard to make a good impression on her. Suddenly, everyone's personality changes, and they become mindless worker drones. Akira takes notice of their weird behavior at work and wonders what's happening. After pulling several all-nighters at work, Akira returns home exhausted. He wakes up with less sleep, however, he's determined to give it his best shot. Someone tells Akira about the job's employee-friendly policies, such as annual paid vacations, anniversary day-offs, and mental health days at work. Akira states other notable aspects of the job which are far from the truth. A year passes, and Kosugi orders Akira to handle a task for him in a week since Takahashi's out of the picture for a while. Satori brings Akira food since he's overworked past his lunch break. Akira says she's the only one keeping his sanity in line and was his crush until he learned Satori was the CEO's mistress. Akira doesn't know why he still works for this production company without Satori as a goalpost. He questions if he should find another job but realizes he may not have time to look for another one and doesn't want the team to pick up his slack. In his third year, Akira becomes more stressed out with work to the point where he contemplates suicide. He returns home and watches several TV shows that discuss workplace etiquette and the importance of workers' safety and health. Akira wakes up sleep-deprived again. He notices a letter on his door that reminds him he forgot to pay for his bike space. Akira visits his building's manager to discuss the situation with him. Akira doesn't get a response and sees the manager's door open. He learns the manager's turned into a zombie. Suddenly, an army of zombies chases after Akira as he questions what's happening. After thinking things through, Akira's joyful about the zombie apocalypse since it means he doesn't have to attend work anymore. Akira finds a spot free from the zombies and contemplates what he should do with his free time. Furthermore, he questions Satori's safety but says he'd rather get eaten by zombies than hold in his feelings for her. He arrives at Satori's apartment and notices his boss is inside and has become a zombie. Akira tells his boss about his resignation from work and uses his rugby skills to tackle his boss out the window, killing him. Akira notices Satori's becoming a zombie and confesses his love for her. He then leaves to visit a store at night and contemplates what he should do with his life. The episode closes with Akira entering the store purchasing a sharpie and notebook, and turning it into a 100-point bucket list.